Let's have a look at the rules for text and for lines, and luckily for us, in mechanical drawings, they're pretty simple. Here is how we have to do text according to the standard. All capitals, no lowercase letters. We have to write everything in all caps. The text has to be an eighth of an inch high when it's printed, and plain font style to a plain typeface styles. Uh, it's what you call sans serif, so none of those little strokes at the end of letters, just plain old fonts. Um, Arial and Helvetica are two common examples of the kind of typeface we can use. Our mechanical drafting class title block uses Arial. So all caps, eighth of an inch high, Arial style. That's what we'll do. And so you can see the source document here is uh, the excerpt out of the ASME standard. So that's it. All caps, eighth of an inch high, Arial style. Now about lines. And you're probably familiar by now with the alphabet of lines. In mechanical drawings, there are only two line weights, thin and thick. That's it. That's all you have to worry about. Object lines and cutting plane lines are thick. Everything else is thin. Yay! Uh, thick lines are 0.6 of a millimeter. Thin lines are 0.3 of a millimeter. And here is the ASME standard about lines where they label which ones are thick and which ones are thin. You can see that almost all of them are thin. And then here on the right, they have given you an illustration of some examples. Center lines, the ones that have the long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, we have to use those on every circle and every cylinder in every view. Every circle, every cylinder, in every view must have center lines. Dot, dash, dot, dash sort of thing. And the short dashes in a center line should be an eighth of an inch long when printed. You'll notice that that's the same with hidden lines and cutting plane lines. So you'll see this number an eighth of an inch showing up all over the place. Our text is an eighth of an inch high, our arrowheads are an eighth of an inch long, and our dashes are an eighth of an inch long. Center lines must extend a little bit beyond whatever object they're attached to. Now, there is no ASME standard for how far those center lines have to extend. The main thing that ASME says about it is just to make them extend a uniform distance, whatever distance you choose. So you might choose uh, to have them stick out an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, but it is up to you. The, the main thing is don't stop your center line at the edge of a part have the center line stick out a little bit so we know that it's a center line. The ASME standard says uh, you should have little plus signs at the center of a circle unless your CAD system can't do that. And AutoCAD can't necessarily do that unless you're using the center mark command. So we are not required to put plus signs lined up in the middle of our circles. If you are, uh, if you ever encountered drafting in the old days of board drafting with pencil and paper, we, we had to practice putting those little short dashes in the middle, but we don't have to do that anymore. Hidden lines used to have rules about how they were supposed to uh, intersect and how they were supposed to land at corners and edges. It's the same idea with hidden lines as with center lines. If your CAD system won't do whatever the rule is, you don't have to follow it. So whatever you learned when you did board drafting, if you ever did, uh, you can forget about it now and you can just draw hidden lines and call it good. And here's that eighth of an inch long thing again. 
Dashes in hidden lines are an eighth of an inch long. One final fine point about line types. Um, if you have a place in a drawing where you have more than one kind of line type over the top of another one, ASME gives us an order of precedence, an order of priority. This most often comes up when you're drawing section views and you have things like this, like a cutting plane arrow, cutting plane line. Uh, sometimes you do have a situation, though, where you have a, a visible line and a hidden line. The visible line takes precedence, but you don't have to worry about deleting a hidden line that's down underneath there because the the object line is thicker, and when you print your drawing, that's the one that's going to be visible anyway, so go ahead and leave both lines there. If you do have a situation where you have hidden lines and cutting plane lines and center lines over the top of each other, you do need to go in and clean those up so that the dashes and spaces are readable. We'll look at that a little bit more later on this term when we talk about sections. So there you are. Uh, let's see. Text, all caps, eighth of an inch high, plain style. Lines, only two thicknesses, thick and thin, and the dashes, an eighth of an inch long. There you go.